Let's take a look at this problem. Yeah, I guess better start a new page. There we go. P is equal to 400. R is equal to 8%. I'll put it in decimal form, so that's 0 0.08. And T is 50. 50 years. Okay, so first thing they want us to find is N is equal to 1. Now it doesn't say continuous, so it's uh, this formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. Anytime you're given N, it's always this one. Um, so plug in what we're given. Uh, P is 400. 1 plus R, which is 0.08. Divide by n, which is 1, raised to the nt power, which would be 1 times 50. I'll do a little bit of simplifying. It's 400. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 1 is 0 0.08. 1 times 50 gives us 50. So let's plug this in our calculator now. So we've got 400. Beginning parentheses, 1 plus... R, which is 0 0.08, close parentheses, caret 50, enter. And then our answer, 18,760.65. Seems kind of high. Let me double check everything there. 1 plus 0.08. Divide by n, which is 1, raised to the nt power. Yeah, everything's right. Boy, it seems to come out pretty high there. Hmm. I wonder if it's the years. What if I change that? Do second enter, bring up previous entry. Change it to 25. Yeah, it is the years. So, anyway, that's our answer. Now, the next one. We got n is equal to 4. Again, it doesn't say continuous, so I'm going to use the same formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. P is 400. 1 plus R, which is 0 0.08, divided by N, which is 4, raised the NT power, which is 4 times T, which is 50. You better do a little bit of math here first. We got 1 plus... 0 0.08 divided by 4. 4 times 50 gives us 200. So let's plug that in the calculator. So we got 400. Uh, beginning parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4. Close parentheses, caret 200. Enter. And we get twenty thousand nine hundred ninety-three dollars and ninety-six cents, and that's our answer. Now let's do n is equal to twelve. Now we got a is equal to p times one plus r over n to the nt power. P is still four hundred times 1 plus R, which is 0 0.08, divided by N, which is 12, raised to the NT power, which would be 12 times T, which is 50. Again, it's better to do a little bit of math if you can do it in your head. 1 plus 0 0.08, 0 0.08 divided by 12, raised to the 600 power? Yeah, 600 power. Okay, so um, plug that in the calculator. So we've got 400, beginning parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, closing parentheses, carat 600. Enter. And that gives us 21,551. Point two seven. Our next part is n is equal to three hundred sixty-five. 
Again, it doesn't say continuous, so we're going to use the same formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. Well, P we said was 400 times 1 plus R, which is 0.08, divide by N, which is 365, raise the NT power, which would be 365 times T, which was 50. Now, this one I have no clue to how to do it in my head. Uh, 365 times 50. So I'm just going to type it directly into my calculator. The key is put parentheses around to 365 times 50. Uh, if you ever have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you need to put that around it. Okay, so we've got 400. Uh, beginning parentheses. 1 plus 0.08 divided by 365. Closing parentheses, caret, beginning parentheses, 365 times 50. Closing parentheses, if you want it to the very end, you don't need it, and then press enter. And we get 21,829.69. Okay. Let's look at the continuous case. That's A is equal to P E to the RT power, PERT formula. Now we just said uh, P was 400. E to the R, R was 0.08. Times, so I'll do a times there, T, which was 50. You have to be careful when you plug this in your calculator, don't want to put any extra parentheses. So we've got 400. E we get by doing second LN. 0.08 times 50. Enter. And we get 21,839.26. And those are our answers.